Hey everyone, this is Donna Lay from DonnaLay.com. This is a quick video on one card. It's our crossroad card or path card. This is a card typically that means two things happening or splitting off and doing two things. It's our card of choices. Now it's often overlooked in a spread. Uh, when you get this in a spread, um, it's going to actually give you information about choices that person is facing and they'll know about it when you talk to them about it. So let's say the man is our significator and in under him we have the crossroads or path. Everything to his left is the past, everything to his right is his future. So at this point right now he has choices happening around him. When I want to know what those choices are, what I typically do is look at what's on either side of the card, boom or boom. There may be a third choice that's kind of superfluous to the side, but basically for him it would be um, job or boss or um, another job. It's like almost he has no choices, but between this job and that, and it appears that they both would be good. If we were to get it, say, under the woman here, so for her, it would have to do with the choices being between moving and maybe staying put or being close to a family. So uh, that would be her choices. If you get it in the end, you may find in the last row when you're talking about their future, they're going to be left with some choices if they want to know what they are. Boom, boom. That's your choices right there. If you happen to get it down below, you may not have as so much can information. Do it. Sometimes I'll actually take the cards that are like this above it uh, and see where that takes us. And just reading. one other comment about if the crossroad lands in this position right here. Um, I don't know why. I've noticed this has happened to me, and these two cards that corner it tend to have something to do with choices. And this may have something to do with the similarity between the choices or a bridge between the choices. So same thing if you find it down here. Just take a look at what's to either corner of it. What's the either corner of it? You can take a look. And this may be a bridge between them. Also, of course, you want to pay attention to these. But in these destiny cards, typically I read them from left to right. So it may not always have the choices here. For example, this has to do with confusion regarding choices. So there's confusion and then there's a choice, a commitment made where there's networking or, or something spreads out. This is kind of like a, a sentence that's done and at this point you kind of already have defined what some of the other things are that are going on. So I don't really define as much in, down here as I would in the rest of the spread uh, by defining choices in here. You may feel that and you can do that if you would but like to. I feel for some reason wherever this lands, take a good look at what the corners are pointing at and then look at what's in the middle and you may find some answers in there. Just kind of take a look at that as you do your next great thing to journal about as you do self-reading so you can see whether that comes to fruition. So I hope that's helpful. Now if you have a nine card spread and the choices card comes up, you can have some really interesting things. I mean, you may see choices between what's knighted. You may see choices between what's here. I like to take a good look at what's right here, what's vertical, this versus this. For some reason, that seems to work for me. I would be interested in hearing what works for you. But as you bounce around the nine card spread, you're gonna see what you mirror will have something to say about all the choices that are involved. And it'll be a very, uh, kind of a complete thing. Now don't forget, when you do the grand tableau or the nine card spread, if you put them on houses, take into account the house card that's underneath it. Let's suppose that the path falls on the house of the ring. That would be choices about commitment. Okay, so if this happened to be on the house of the ring, this choice would have to do with committing to something, maybe this or this, and then also take into account what's under those houses. If you happen to have it on the house of the fish, the choices are directly impacted with money or, or gain and that will relate to these two cards. Okay, see where I'm going with this? If you happen to have it under here, there's be a choice being made about a friend. Are they for real or do they need to be swept away? Okay, let's try one more. If we do one about, something that's really different. Let's take a choice about if it happened to land on the house of the coffin. So what will end? Pain 
and repetitive patterns or uh, purity and, and trust in something or uh, could be an elder. Uh, they may understand what these are, but as you explore these two, this one seems very calm and harmonizing. This one seems to have not harmony. And so the choice, one that's going to end, it seems like they have what's one or the other. Those may be people, those might be situations. You'll find out more by seeing what's under those house cards. I've been really paying a lot of attention to this card lately. So as you do readings about choices, Take a good look at what's on either side of this card because you'll get some really great information.